There's a really cool story behind the pecans in your pecan pie. Pecans started off as a native tree in the nutrient-rich floodplains along the Mississippi River and into Texas. Archaeologists have even found pecans in human poop from nearly 9,000 years ago, long before we were lathering them up in corn syrup. And the word pecan is actually derived from the Native American Algonquin term pecani, which roughly translates to a nut too hard to crack by hand. Pecanis were being used for trade, for nut milk, for nut meal, and a fermented drink called pauhoecora. When colonists first showed up in the 1600s, they liked pecans but preferred the walnut that they had brought over. And since pecans grew abundantly without human meddling in the South, it wasn't until 1772 that the first one was planted by colonists in Long Island. But pecans still weren't being planted that much. Part of the reason could be that they're alternate bears. One year they get a huge crop followed by a year or two of light nuts before they do it again. And when pecans are ready to harvest, they're way up high and really hard to reach. There's even folklore about girls riding hot air balloons to the tops of trees and banging on branches to knock down the pecans. Fast forward to the 1840s in Louisiana. On Oak Alley Plantation in a small town called Vashery, an enslaved man named Antoine grafts a superior pecan. It's thin-shelled, highly productive, and taken from a tree in nearby St. James Parish. That single graft becomes what's later known nationwide as the Centennial Pecan after it's recognized at the 1876 Centennial Exhibition, the first World's Fair in the United States. From there, pecans explode. Commercial orchards spread across the South, and by the early 1900s, pecans become the winter baking nut for the U.S. So when that golden sticky pecan pie hits your holiday table, remember that you're eating the legacy of an American native tree, a floodplain ecosystem, an indigenous trade network, and horticultural genius that turned a wild forest nut into a national crop. Follow for more science stories.